This is Dan Conrad from One Identity, and today I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of just-in-time provisioning to active roles using Safeguard. This is my environment. I have a, a domain here with some user objects, and you can see that they are disabled. And I'm going to go through Safeguard, and I'm going to check out this account right here called TempDom Admin One. If I take a look at that user account, of course it's disabled, but it has only the default or the domain users group as the as the only group membership. So I'm going to go into Safeguard and check that account out. It's from the One Identity domain. And I'm going to select the account, which is tempdom admin one. I'm going to go ahead and check it out. It's set for auto approval. So then when I take a look at that user object in active roles, which is a look at active directory, you can see that the red X is gone. So the account is now enabled. Uh, but then the, uh, the group membership is populated as well. So it is populated it into the SG domain admins group. And if I go do whatever I was going to do with that account, if I needed the password or if I needed a session, you can use it just like you would from any safeguard instance. And then when I'm done, I check it back in and it reverses the process. So let me refresh right here. So the account's now disabled again. And the group membership is reverted back to the default domain users group is the only group. And that's just in time provisioning with safeguard and active roles. Now that we have it configured for the Windows environment, the Active Directory, let's take a look at how integrating this with authentication services will look. This is the same environment. I've just added a couple accounts for the Unix admins to use. And I've added a group called SGTemp Unix admins. To be able to authenticate to the Unix platform, you need to be able to log onto that platform. And I'm controlling that on the CentOS through the host access control. And the SGTemp Unix admins is allowed to log on there. So let's go check out a user just like we did before. Check out a user account to use on that Unix platform. And I'm going to go to the CentOS. I'm going to check that out. I'm going to pick the account. In this case, I'll take SGTemp Unix admin one. And I'm only allowing session requests for this. I'm not allowing users to check out the password. Go ahead and check this out. Pending account restored. It's available. So now let's go look over here in Active Directory. So that account has been restored. And the group membership is populated to allow him to do that. So now let's launch a session out to that Unix platform. And now I'm logged in. Complete my session, do my work, check my session back in. Take a look over in Active Directory. The account is now disabled and the group membership has been reverted. That's how it works when you integrate it with authentication services.